very familiar to Rogers Television, has taken on a new venture, and she's here to tell us all about it. Kelly Simon, so great to have you here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here in a different role. No yeah. kidding. Not hosting today, but here to tell us all about Slingbackers. That's right. It's my new venture. Uh, Slingbackers is a barrier to keep your your pants from going inside the heels of your slingback shoes. And it's one of those problem solution products that I've come up with because it happened to me a number of times and it just drove me crazy. <laughs> and when I talked to women before I got into this, almost every woman that I talked to had said, oh my God, yes, that happens to me all the time. Well, okay. totally. So I when figured I, I had a winner. When I saw the idea for it, I was like, yes, and it's so annoying because then you're like, oh my, it feels awful and your pants are getting all wrinkly. And we we're taking a look at a little video uh, right from your website to take a look at it. And oh, dresses too. Oh, okay. Yes, absolutely. Long dresses, um, bridal industry, I think is going to be big for me. It just happens constantly. So really what you're doing is just creating a barrier between the heel and the back of the shoe then. Correct. Just to keep things from mm -hmm. sliding in there. Yep. I love it. It really is just a simple solution, although it took me hundreds and hundreds of <laughs> prototypes to come up with a simple solution. But absolutely it works and uh, it's easily transferable from shoe to shoe. It's sleek and uh, applies very easily to the shoe. And again, just a simple solution to a problem that so many women have. So it keeps you looking picture perfect all the time. Oh, it's okay. very annoying. Okay, well, let's talk about that. I mean, it's it's one thing for women we always want to complain about. We have these little problems because we're wardrobe malfunctions. Yes. But for you to actually make it happen, and you just mentioned how many, how did oh you God. actually start with it? Well, it was about four years ago, and I was going out one night, and I had some new shoes and some new jeans that I wanted to wear. And sure enough, I walk out the door, and my pants get stuck. I went, darn. I just want to wear these tonight. So I got some elastic bands quickly and just sort of tied some things together and made just a, you know, a, a prototype, I guess, without even thinking of it being a prototype. And out I went for the evening and it worked. I went, oh, this is kind of cool. So I sat on the idea and just thought, you know, kind of a neat idea. Maybe I should do something with this one day. And uh, it wasn't the first time it had happened, but it was really annoying that particular day. So fast forward about four years, I just felt like I was um, at a crossroads with uh, my career, just didn't really know what I wanted to do, one of those kind of soul searching moments. And I was in that period of time, and at the same time, I was at home watching TV, and Marilyn Dennis, one of the talk show hosts in Canada, she walked on stage, and sure enough, her pants got wedged in between her heels, <laughs> and I slung that shoe. And I went, that's it, this really is a problem. And that's what really prompted me to say, you know what, I'm going to do something with this. So then I just started working with um, different materials. I was at the dollar store purchasing everything I could that had some stretch to it, trying to cut and form things and shape things into a slingbacker. So clearly you've moved on from elastic bands. <laughs> what did you finally settle on? What is it? Well, you know, I want to look at it. I want to see sure. this thing. Yeah. It's actually made of silicone. It's a very small silicone barrier. And uh, initially I started with the rubber because it was a little bit less expensive and I had more of a strip that went down the back and looped around the heel a bit differently. But um, it didn't really work the way that I anticipated it to. And it was actually the one that I presented to the Dragon's Den because I did make that show as well to present my product. So from that point on though, it's been a process of understanding sort of more the movement of the heel and how it fits and, uh, and the complexity of what kind of material I need. But it's as simple as this stuff. And that's all it is. Yep. Wow. And again, it looks easy, but this is so many prototypes no and kidding. molds later to get the exact dimensions that work and flex with the foot and, uh, again, shape to the heel. Wow. It's, where do you get these, Kelly? These are just so cool. Every woman needs them and, and definitely great stocking stuffers. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, right now on my website, so I'm starting with online sales, and right now I'm working with a PR agent out of Toronto to look at getting my product known, and I'm hoping to look at getting into big and and small retail stores as I launch forward. So it's really exciting. So slingbackers.com is the place to go. Tweet at Kelly too. Slingbackers is her Twitter. Kelly, thanks so much for coming back to Rogers TV and telling us what you're up to now. Thank you very much for giving the opportunity to do so. And uh, again, slingbackers.com. Every woman needs them. And